Now let's go through the double passes. I've got four or five here to show you. I think it's four. We already talked about protections on the pass game DVD. Now that that changes, they're just going to chop block all the blitz protections. I talked about that on the pass play DVD. So, halves left, double pass. So he steps back. We throw him the ball. Okay? He's got to really come flat and take care of that DN, and he's going to take care of that. Now, I've got two choices here. Okay? If I know that DN's going to come, I need a tight DN. I ran halves and he didn't come out. And I noticed that his first two or three steps, he's really aggressive. Now he's going to redirect and chase. I'm not even going to block him now. I'm just going to take my left half, run a really shallow corner, get him to the sideline, because this safety's coming over. Get him to the sideline. All you're trying to do is throw it right over this corner's head. Coaches, this is like a 10 or 15 yard pass. It's more important he gets to the sideline, which makes it a shallow pass. He tries to get deep, then he has to run deeper and gives him time to come over and give problems. Okay? And then just throw it. Just throw it. Okay? This guy's not going to get blocked, so you need to watch him before you call it. Don't just randomly call it. He can pick six or he can make the tackle. Make sure you know what he's doing. Okay? It's really good play if he's lined up inside, inside, like in that 5 3 defense, he lines up inside this guy. Okay? So we go double pass the left half. Now that same concept, but let's get a double pass backside. So same thing, we're going to throw the ball here, okay, block, everybody block solid. He's taking off, being over aggressive. I call it a post, but basically he's just going to sprint and replace the safety. Launch it right over the middle of the field. Okay, launch it right over the middle of the field. Um, I just love throwing to the tight end. Youth football, they always, they always ignore it. And again, that's a senior only play because you've got to have some really strong arms and a fast tight end. It'd be hard to run this at the lower level. Okay, we ran double pass to the left half, double pass to the tight end. How about double pass to the X? Okay, double pass, I just showed it. Um, he's not eligible to go off for a pass, but why can't he step back, catch the pass, and run back? Okay, if the referees are worried about him being covered up and are going to call it. Call a simple invert. Put him right there. Move him up on the line of scrimmage. Again, because you're breaking the huddle so fast, they're never going to notice it. They're never going to notice it. I could have also ran the double pass of the X out of the halves. Okay, there's my double passes. I want to explain what I considered a trick play. It's on the run game DVD, but it's a good play to put here also, which is crisscross. We've already talked about the counter left. Whatever you're going to do, Moses, you're going to pull the tackle on the Y, you're going to pull the right guard. We've already talked about how you're going to block counter. That doesn't change. The counter's the same. He still fakes down because that's why this word's here. Crisscross is for the quarterback and left half. It's a no-mo play. 